and thanks for joining me again. Today I will be sharing with you my thoughts on how to choose the right tent for you for your three season backpacking trip. Um, so uh, there's a number of things to think about and a number of things to note. So first off, uh, right here on the outside, uh, we have the vestibule. I think it's a really good idea to make sure that whatever tent you buy has a vestibule. And uh, that basically uh, enables you to store things like your boots, your shoes, uh, and your or your pack uh, outside of the tent without getting uh, you know without getting um, things wet while you leave them outside. Um, and it also helps you; it makes it easier to get in and out of your tent uh, without uh, you know tracking water and such inside. So basically, like I said, this is mainly for three season backpacking. The, a lot of what I'll say here will apply to winter camping as well. But, uh, you know, there are some differences for, especially for heavy snow or heavy wind uh, camping. Um, okay, so, uh, anyway, here's the vestibule. Um, another thing uh, to think about is the door. So, one, you know, it should have, obviously, at least one door. Oftentimes, tents will have two. Um, but, uh, the, in my opinion, the main thing to note about the door uh, which is not the case on this tent. This tent has like a teardrop shaped zipper on the door. And uh, the issue with that is that uh, the a zipper is not really meant to run on a curved uh, track. And so it that was, this is the second version of this tent that I had. That was the first thing to go uh, on the last tent. Um, and uh, so basically better if you can find one that has two zippers that, uh, you know, that, uh, run straight lines, you know, kind of like uh, in a triangular shape. So um, next is uh, waterproof bathtub floor. Make sure the floor is, uh, is totally waterproof treated so that you don't have any uh, water seeping in from the floor, from the ground, and uh, soaking all your things and yourself. <laughs> um, uh, next thing to note is um, very important, in my opinion, when choosing a, uh, a tent is that you have as much so this is a this is a two-walled tent meaning that and I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second here meaning that um, it has this uh, it has a separate rain flag basically um, and which is you know obviously removable as you can see so here's the beauty of this tent is that Almost the entire uh, dome of this tent is uh, mesh. And what's great about that, there's only a little bit of the material here and a bit on the sides. So here's the thing, is when you're in there sleeping all night, the, the water vapor from breathing, from you know exhaling, will, it collects inside here. And if you don't have this uh, a mesh layer, um, and it's just you only have the tarp material for the ceiling, then it'll condense on the inside of the ceiling. And then especially if it's windy or whatever, uh, and the tent's shaking from the wind, it'll rain back down onto you and your gear and your sleeping bag inside the tent, which kind of defeats the purpose of a tent, obviously, right? So anyway, um, in my opinion, very important to have a two-walled tent and that the inner wall be as close to 100% mesh as possible. You know, the, the I, you will get some condensation on the inside of this, you know, part right here and on the inside over there a bit. But uh, it passes right through here and it collects on the inside of the rain fly and then it runs down the sides of the rain fly. So that's what I recommend. Um, let's see. Uh, Oh, one other thing that I to think about. So this is a little bit less common for uh, in tents. However, I do own another tent that does have this, and you, it can be found. So one issue with uh, with um, setting up a tent. Uh, let's say it's raining, for example, um, and you want to set up your tent. So uh, the way you set up a tent like this is you set up this whole this this part, and then you put the rain fly on top afterwards. Now, the, the, the one issue with that is if you're doing it in heavy rain for whatever reason, um, uh, then as you, once you set up this part, you have, you know, uh, several moments where it's, where you get your stuff, some of your stuff inside, and, uh, or even if you don't, and it's just like everything, the in
inside of the tents is exposed to the rain coming down until you get that rain fly on. So uh, there are some tents, and if you can find one that has this feature, uh, then that's a great idea. In which the way in which you set it up with the uh, with the rain fly built into it, and then uh, so that as you're setting it up, it, it can't rain inside the tent basically. So um, that's a really nice feature to have. But this one doesn't have it, but I don't think it's absolutely essential. It's just a nice extra. Um, and I think that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, oh, you know, obviously, you know, check out, you know, try to go for something lighter weight, you know, so that it makes it easier for backpacking. And also, obviously, you know, the number of people that you're traveling with uh, is going to, the number of people that's going to be sleeping in the tent will determine the size that you choose. This is a two-person tent. Um, you, one for this one is actually, I would say light enough that one person can, you know, carry it backpacking with all your gear that I've done that many times, but, uh, you know, this is really for two people. Um, and, oh, I, I actually, another nice thing to mention about like something to look for in a tent is, uh, there, there's like a number of different styles as far as like the architecture of a tent. What I really like about this one is that you can't, I don't know if you can really see it from that angle, but like the side walls are run, the way it's designed is the side walls run vertically. So you have this big open dome space inside of the tent. Whereas a lot of tents will kind of have more of an A-frame, you know, the, 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 from the base to the, to the ceiling will be uh, sloped inward. So you'll have a lot less headroom so this one feels really spacious inside because of the vertical walls. Um, and uh, I think that'll cut it. Thank you very much for watching.